Hello and welcome friends, welcome to another exciting unboxing episode. I've just returned from the post office with this little pack. It should contain some interesting vintage items. They are not related with the um, writing instruments field, but I think you will like the content of this pack, guys. So, I have here my little pelican knife and I will start opening this box. I'm sorry for the noise, it is a very rainy day outside and um, I've uh, just returned from the post office, you can see the pack is a little bit wet but it is what it is guys. Uh, I'm uh, very very curious to see how the those beautiful beautiful items look in uh, real life i've seen them only in pictures i'm trying to cut here but okay and it opens quite easy from this part let me see okay guys so this is the content so there are some Yes, there are some old pictures, beautiful, beautiful pictures, and you will see some really, really nice looking necklaces, uh, silver necklaces, quite, quite old. So this is the content of the, the, so this is the box, guys, I will remove it. Okay, let me tell you what I paid for this lot, and after that I will show it to you. So for all that you see in this protective uh, sleeve i paid 300 lace or the equivalent of 60.63 euros or 63.85 american dollars and i think i did quite quite okay so guys let me take them all i will leave the necklaces at the end i will show you, uh, them to you but first let us concentrate on the vintage pictures i have right here let me remove this protective sleeve i will give you a little zoom guys and now we we will see better every photograph i hope it is okay maybe a little zoom yes so this is an old old photograph you can see it is cut with this pattern which is quite quite usual for the old old pictures so uh quite elegant gentleman and a lady here we have a citroen from the 1930s or the 1940s and let me see if we have some Eu cusica la nisa. So, eu, she, it is this lady. So, I and Sika, Sika is the name of this gentleman, at Nice, la, uh, uh, at Nice, France. But uh, unfortunately, we don't have a date. So, I presume it's from the late 1930s or the 1940s or maybe even early 1950s quite quite elegant and a beautiful beautiful picture okay guys let me check out the others oh and this is a beautiful beautiful one let me give it a zoom guys so we have two newlyweds i presume quite elegant and we have some little ad notation here so nikushor is the name of a gentleman okay and here uh, i will pronounce in romanian and after that i will translate in english salut nikushor uh, kisses nikushor so um i send you kisses nikushor and uh, maybe there are some actors from all silent movies and this is uh, like a postcard but it's interesting we have something written on it so quite interesting we have a date 6th of september 18 
1808 i'm not so sure this card is so old but i'm just reading what it says here so the 6th of september 1898 or i don't know for sure and i will read it in romanian and after that i will do the translation in english so uh, vladmire ascultă-mă să nu te însori, jos căznicia. Ci regulat să schimbi soția pe săptămâna de șapte ori. Să nu iubești cu adevărat pe nicio fată, dar jurele la toate odată. Amor nebun și înflăcărat. Ok, so this is quite funny guys, but I have to translate it as it is. So, uh, dear Vladimir, listen to me. Never get married down with the marriage but from time to time change your wife if you can seven times a week never love truly a girl but swear to them all foolish love foolish and passionate love <laughs> this is quite quite interesting and on the back we have we can see we have a postcard and uh carte postal poste carte okay and this is sent to mr vladimir tanasescu and an annotation here Flaco frumos, which means young, uh, beautiful lad, and loco, it means it was sent from the same town to this gentleman, Vladimir. So this is just a postcard, and we have uh, here uh, two actors, I believe. Okay, let me put this aside. Now, another photograph. I'm not so sure it's the same lady from here. Let me see, let me check her uh, i believe maybe this is the same i'm not so sure guys so quite quite interesting in a palace or a museum it is made let me see on the back what we have and indeed it is a postcard and we have the schonbrunn castle in vienna and let me see if I can get the date from here. It is quite fainted, the date. I'm not so sure where to find it. Maybe we can find it on this beautiful, beautiful stamp. No. We'll see. So, I will read it for you in Romanian. And after that, I will translate it in English. I hope that I can uh, distinguish this handwriting. So, dragă Puiu și Octav, am fost și am vizitat ieri muzeul Schönbrunn. Suntem în camera chinezească, unde își spunea Maria Teresa secretele. Voi ce faceți? Eu trebuie să mai stau aici. 5 săptămâni am început an, am început cu mă, căci mama are să vie în câteva zile înainte de nuntă și poi mine vine și dânsa trebuie să urmeze un tratament vă pup Dorina adresă pension open link uh, ok let me translate it for you so dear Puiu și Octavian I went and I visited yesterday the Museum Schönbrunn. Here we are in the Chinese chamber where Maria Teresa used to tell her secrets. How are you doing? I have to stay here for another five weeks and I'm waiting for my mom to, to come. She has to follow a treatment. I kiss you, Dorina, and here it uh, gives the address to her hostel or uh, place uh, that she stays in Vienna. And this is addressed to 
Monsieur Puyu Tănăsescu, Street Timișoara 43, Bucarest, Rumanii. Well, I don't know for sure, but I think this is from the 1930s. Quite, quite a nice photo. And now, guys, another interesting item. And this is also a postcard, I believe, or something like that, or maybe like an advertising. So, so le numero de votre canard depuis 1819. The number of your duck. Oh, God. So I believe that this is from a restaurant and uh, they uh, served this duck. This is a special apparatus. I'm not so sure based on pressure. It's a special way to cook a duck. So I will uh, read it for you because it's in French and in English. I will read the English version. On the roof overlooking Notre Dame de Paris and the phone number and says closed on Mondays Le Cour d'Argent Frederic so the heart of Silver Frederic Le Plus Ancien Restaurant de Paris 1582 the oldest restaurant in Paris uh, du unique sur Notre Dame pour déjeuner et dîner et comme hiver. Okay, another postcard, and this seems to be the beautiful, beautiful restaurant, and a view from the terrace of that restaurant. Here you can see the Notre Dame de Paris, and this is the Seine, I think. Quite, quite nice. Again, a shame it's not dated. So, interesting. Now, another beautiful, beautiful picture with uh, this lady. She's looking herself in a mirror with an elegant, elegant dress. This is um, her dress uh, study, I think. Look at this beautiful art deco mirror. Here we have a, a naked lady in this picture. Let me see if we have something written on the back. So, Revelionul a noi. Alustic Marbel. So, uh, the New Year's Eve uh, at uh, us, Alusia. I'm not so sure in the name of the girl. Interesting that we have a photo, photo of France. Street Victoria number 20 and a short short four number so probably again from the 1930s or the 1940s a beautiful beautiful picture and look at this a lady in uh, standing on a sofa we have some oriental motifs here and also done as a postcard but and the name of the beautiful lady Marta or Mart, and this is photo N Buzdugan and son Bucharest on um, the street Elisabetta number fourteen. It is a boulevard, so a large, large street. Quite nice. So again, another beautiful, beautiful picture with an elegant lady using a bottle of perfume you can see her reflection in the mirror an interesting painting and it was in uh, its lifetime it has this uh, ink signs Quite beautiful, quite elegant lady. I'm a beautiful lady. And on the back, it says Marta in Camache de Noapte. So Marta in her night clothes. 
quite elegant for a night clothes. Like a pyjama. Quite, quite nice. Okay, and the last picture included in this lot is again an elegant lady using a phone. You can see that the phone is uh, that type of an ebonite phone with a rotary system. I believe also from the 1930s or the 1940s. Let me see. I'm curious to see what we have on the back. So again, Revelionul a noi, New Year's Eve at us. Maybe 2944, maybe 1944. Again, the stamp of that professional photographer that I believe took this picture. Quite, quite nice. And guys, now for the treat of this video, the beautiful, beautiful necklaces. Why did I buy them? I bought them because they are quite, quite vintage. They are made out of solid silver, and I think that they are probably from the 1930s or the 1940s. I believe that all of them have uh, some silver hallmarks. Let me see on this one and let me show you. So this is a 9 to 5 beautiful, beautiful necklace. I think it can be wear at the base of the neck. I don't want to ruin it. Let me put it like this. Let me zoom out, guys. And I want to show you how it probably looks on um, the, a lady's neck. Look at this. Beautiful. And the other one is more complicated. It has some little stones, not precious stones, but quite nice looking stones. I wanted to see the hallmark of this piece. Maybe it is visible and I can show it to you. It could be silver 800 or silver 925. I'm not so sure that I can show it to you maybe on uh, this side over here let me see yes on this ring i think i can show something to you again i have a beautiful zoom but sometimes it doesn't focus on the right stuff so yes we should focus but i don't see that Hallmark, guys, I'm sorry. So I should see that Hallmark right over here. But unfortunately, I don't see it. But I certainly think it is gold. It, uh, it is silver. It's quite beautiful, beautiful. And let me put it on this side. You can see a nice, a nice necklace. So guys, this was my lot. Remember, I did not pay lots of money for it, but the quite interesting are the photos included in this lot. Thank you for your time. I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing, this unusual unboxing. Of course, I've mentioned from the start that we don't have writing instruments in this unboxing, but we have some interesting, beautiful, beautiful pieces, and I think you like them as much as i do so guys thank you for your time if you've enjoyed this unboxing and you want to see other interesting old things reviewed unboxed please subscribe to my channel i will see you again at the next episode till then bye bye and god bless